Hello students, uh, I want to do a quick video just to show you how to create your pre-service professional portfolio. And this will be done in task stream. And as most of you have already done, you have created your account in task stream. And when you log in, you will come to this capstone portfolio on your main page. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the folios and web pages. So click on folios and web pages, and then you're going to give a title to your pre-professional portfolio. Um, and you can name it however you want to name it. So um, I'm just going to write the pre-service professional portfolio. Okay, and then we're going to create new and we're going to click general purpose templates and then as you scroll down you're going to see presentation folio templates and that is where we're going to go and we're doing this reflective portfolio pre-service. If you do not see that as a choice um, then you may want to choose the employment portfolio or professional development portfolio probably either the employment portfolio but hopefully you will see this reflective portfolio pre-service so click on that and hit continue and you're going to see you can choose from all kinds of templates of how you want your professional pre-service pre professional portfolio to look so I um, like to choose something that looks a little professional um, and I'm going to go with my Alabama colors here. And so I also like for it to go down the left side. Um, you can also choose if you want a horizontal where you can choose your tabs up at the top. I'm going to choose them going down the left side. And then I'm going to hit apply up at the top. So then you're going to go back to folios and web pages up here at the top. Click on that and under presentation folios you will see your pre-service professional portfolio. Obviously I have done several as examples but I'm going to click on this pre-service professional portfolio and you will see to the left the different titles or the different pages of your web page and um, this is what you're going to create for this pre-service professional portfolio. So under About Me, you will click on About Me and it asks you write a description about yourself, include aspects of your personal and professional life that will enhance your career as a teacher. So you will go up here to Edit Main Text and you'll wipe out the directions and then you will type your information here. And then you will save and return and it will take you back to uh, creating the next page. Why I want to be a teacher. Enter your personal essay here. Include your goals, aspirations, and motivations for your future career. Again, edit main text and begin writing your information. And then under philosophy, same thing. What's your philosophy of teaching? Weave together ideas from pedagogy you have read with actual classroom experience. And in the class, um, your in ED 173 where you're creating this there is a specific um, elements we want you to include under each one of these sections so under about me you're gonna have your personal contact information appropriate picture make sure it's a professional looking picture not you at the beach a resume with your career objectives um, and there's templates in Microsoft Word or online that you can use to create your resume if you haven't created one and your why I want to be a teacher, here's ex explicit details on what to include. Again, with your philosophy of education, there are several questions we want you to consider as you're writing your philosophy. Include any kinds of experience that you have in the classroom as well. And then the next one is examples of your work. And if you will see the list here, it says you can... Um, add a couple of pieces of your most extensive and es excellent work. Um, one of the ideas that we have given to our students is that you create um, or upload an assignment for each one of the NAYC standards. So for standard one, 
What assignment have you done that would be a really good example of child development and learning? For standard two, what would be a really good example of work that you have done that ex shows your work with children and families and the community? So again, think about each one of the standards and upload maybe one particular one that you really like for your examples of your work. And then include any certifications, such as your North Carolina Early Childhood Credentials, Early Educator Certification, your First Aid or CPA certifications, any of those certificates, scan them and upload them there as well. And then you have favorite links and resources. So include any of your favorite um, links and resources and give a little annotated um, explanation about that resource or that particular web link. So that um, kind of covers the main gist of your pre-service professional portfolio. The list again is here in your 173 class. If this is not for your 173 class and you're doing it for another course or you're doing it on your own, um, then you think about how you want to incorporate different aspects of your profession to um, include in this pre-professional portfolio. Now, one of the reasons why we ask you to do this is because this is going to create a web page for you. And if you want to preview and see what it looks like, um, you can go here and this will be your um, actual professional portfolio. And under each one of these, you will have your information. And you can give this link out to future employers. Um, if you're actually interviewing for a particular job, you can give them the link for this and they will be able to see some of your wonderful work. Now, this is a great selling point for you. If you do this really well, um, future employers would love to see um, this done. It's very professional, it looks wonderful, and it will be a great selling point for you. Now, once you have this completed, in order to turn it in for an assignment, then you are going to go to Publish, Share, and then you are going to um, actually publish this. You're going to create, you want to re require a password, so create a password. Again, use a minimum of four characters. Only numbers and letters are allowed with no spaces. So um, we will just label it that, publish it. And then you'll see your web address here and your password. So in order to submit this for an actual assignment, you are going to copy, copy that particular address and password and then go back to your assignment and you're going to click it where it says submit work. I don't, I don't have that here, but you will, you will see submit work um, and you will click on that and you will just paste that into this assignment area. So again, this is how to create your pre-service professional portfolio in TaskStream. Thank you and enjoy creating.